I fucking did it, man. I fucking... I <laughs> got my ass out of bed today. And, uh, you know, put, put an extra 15 minutes in. Uh, you know, just got up 15 minutes earlier than I normally would. And... Got my ass on the bike seat. Pedaled into work. Five days in a row. No caffeine. This is a goal that I set literally like a year, I think it was about a year ago now. I set this goal and I I just, you know, I was like, this week I'm going to do it, this week. And um, I think what it was actually was a video I was watching. Um, I've been watching a lot of Pow Simeon's videos. Check him out. Awesome channel. He lives like right in the area too. Um, and uh, also the Glucose Network. Great, a fucking awesome channel. That guy's from Adelaide, Australia. <clears throat> like, home of more successful YouTubers than anyone on the planet. The best uh, t town for cycling in the world, and... I think it's uh, probably a pretty good, damn good town for uh, fruits, too, and stuff. So it's a beautiful place, uh, Adelaide. It's, they call it Radelaide. Just It sounds like one of the coolest fucking cities in the world. But yeah, I watched uh, a... Uh, what do you call it? A collaboration video that he and Pal Simeon did, and the, they they were just like harsh on people, man. I, I watched a bunch of their videos this last weekend, and they they yeah they were just fucking like harsh on people on vegans, you know, like you gotta fucking step up your game, etc. And I just thought to myself like, uh, well, I you know I just realized. That my only, the only thing stopping me is mental, man. This, this, you know, the only challenges I've had have been fucking mental. 100%. Now one of my best viewers is fucking <laughs> just trying to, trying to attract attention to himself. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Hi, Bill. <laughs> um, yeah, just purely mental, so yeah, I'll see you guys after work. So my number one tip to make this happen is uh, go fucking slow, man. You can see like I've been talking in at least two of the videos while I'm commuting. And here, I'll give you an example. This is how fast your legs should be going. Your legs should be going fast, but the bike itself should be going relatively slow compared to your this is what they call a cadence. This is your cadence. So I'm going, you know, maybe 90-ish. Right around 90 uh, RPM. So cadence is important. Go fucking low gear, high cadence. All the way, man. Otherwise, you're just burning extra muscle. Like people are like, Oh, you know, I want to make my workout, like, extra difficult. Yeah, that's a fucking stupid as fuck idea. Like, how about instead of making your workout hard, you make it productive and you do something that actually matters. You know, I remember when I first went out trying to conquer the world on my bike. Yeah, I, I'm just not understanding, like, the fact that you need calories, man. I thought I had a flat tire on going so slow. Not under, you know, and so I was eating like four or five thousand calories a day, which is not enough for somebody who's riding a bicycle constant, uh, you know, like a hundred miles in a day. And I was just feeling so bad because I'm eating so much fucking food, and I was eating all shit, like trying to go for like most protein per calories, because that's I was just like, you know, I'm gonna be super healthy. I'm gonna eat like the most protein. I possibly can with the lowest amount of calories <laughs> and just like crazy shit man fucking insane like breatharian shit and, and oh my god like just crazy man the amount of money I spent on like superfoods and this was when I'm out fucking on the road man when you're on the road I recommend like 
oats, refined fucking sugar, dude. Absolutely. It's a must have if you're going on a long bike tour. Absolutely got to pack some sugar with you. If, if you're doing like a multi-day trip, you, you need fucking sugar. Otherwise, you're hauling around like, you know, all these other carbs. You got to have dried fruit as well. It just, you know, can't fucking debate it. Like, you need high sugar density shit. And, uh, you know, like some instant oatmeal or something. That's what I'm, I would be packing. That's what I'll be doing when I do like a little vacation this summer. And, uh, yeah, so I was doing that and I was like just going into high gear and like trying to get strong using the bike and like just incorrect man if you want to be a productive fucking athlete not just somebody who like goes and tries to burn as many calories in as little time as possible fucking get nothing done like if you want that you burn more fucking calories when you do more so do it properly low gear high cadence all the way like t take it easy you know, give it a little gas up the hill, but, um, yeah, stay in the fat burning zone most of the time. Like if you're an uh, endurance athlete, um, I definitely, like this week, I was going not even in the fat burning zone. I, I was like, spent a lot of time in the recovery zone. Inevitably, if you're going up hills and stuff, unless you're just going at a crawling fucking pace like I am now you're inevitably gonna go up, you know, into like zone three or four where you're burning more sugar as opposed to fat, but so you got zone one, recovery, zone two, aerobic exercise. That's where you wanna stay in the aerobic zone to burn the most fat and uh, just be, that's where your metabolism's most efficient and uh, yeah, that's. Uh, it's the way to get the most done because you can go in the aerobic zone all day long. It is very hard to overtrain on a bicycle. So yeah, oh, I had my little notes, but whatever. I, I don't. I think I left them at home or something. Um, my legs feel better uh, now than they did at the beginning of the week. Like I started this week off on the wrong foot, but like I've been saying, my mind. I just I. I'm sick of the bullshit, man. That's what it takes. Like, it has nothing to do with, like, my physiology or anything. It's just I'm, like, done being a fucktard. Like, there's no time on the fucking planet for people to be wasteful fucks. Like, it just, it can't be tolerated. Like, I know people, it, we're not, there's no hope, man. There's no fucking hope for humanity. Um... Because people just, it, people are like me. Like, I've already figured this out, uh, the vegan thing, and I've started to get my life on track just barely, man. Like, just barely starting to be like, okay, I'm going to harden the fuck up and ride my fucking bike to work, man. And I'm going to not be fucking around with drugs. Like, zero drugs. No fucking drugs, man. No fucking coffee. No fucking drugs, man. No, no weed, like, no booze. Never. Not once. How, like how often? A couple times a year? No, I'm not going to waste my time because there's just no time for that. But yeah, the, the point is, is uh, just like doing the right thing for whatever it is for you. If you, if you want to be like a fucking druggie, you want to party and stuff, that's fine. Just don't be killing animals, you know what I'm saying? The point is like getting off your ass, doing the right thing fucking thing doing what's really fucking important man and I can't like tell people like a blanket statement what's gonna be important to you but yeah you um, there, there's no fucking time like it, there so that's why there's no hope for humanity because people are like me and they they uh, just get too comfortable like not improving like they, we just yeah oh man so take home message for the day become a switched on cunt you know don't be a switched off cunt be somebody who's gonna go out and like oh man just just do the right thing and it's a choice in the moment it has nothing to do with what you ate how much you slept i'm living proof
I didn't get that much sleep this week. I was, you know, I was in bed like after 10.30 last night. And I ate fucking nothing but white rice. Like, I ate like fucking 2,500 calories of white rice with tomato sauce last night. Like, <laughs> well, it was probably less than that, but I had a lot of sweet potatoes with coconut sugar on them too. So my stomach was just full so much that it was like painful, but I just needed the calories. So normally, like in the past, I would have been like, oh, you know, ooh. I, I like ate too much like glue last night and so I'm I'm just gonna have to like sleep for that extra hour. We're not even really sleeping anyway. And uh, you know, drive drive my car to work. Maybe I get a coffee to like help me take a dump because I <laughs> not, not that coffee even helps with that anyway. Coffee dries you out and it ruins your fucking colon. Try if you don't believe me, just like get off the coffee and like see what happens like I don't know for me it took like a week for things to like go kind of back to it, it you know but it's permanent damage if you're a coffee drinker like it's semi-permanent I'm sure people who drink coffee just generally don't have as good strong healthy colons but that you know it's different for everyone um uh, yeah, anyway, I was just being such a fucking soft cunt, dude. Being so fucking soft and, like, just babying myself and being like, oh, yeah, like, and being way too just hyper-positive, you know? Po positivity is see <laughs> seeking out the right things to do. It's, it, it's doing those things and it's acting on your uh, your convictions and acting on your your beliefs and, and your values uh, you know it, it's, it's doing the right thing that's positivity positivity is being honest with people uh, be, when you make judgments about them saying uh, you, hey look you make an accurate something can be bad and be positive at the same time but really uh, you know you know what I'm trying to say positivity is like be having a positive influence on the world. So like, just get being a fucking like, being too nice to yourself is not a good thing, man. I'm sorry, but like, uh, look at me, like look what it's done for me this week. Being soft on myself has led me nowhere. Like, I, I, was, in, I was just stagnant. I was fucking stagnant for the longest time, just ugh. I'd be okay, you know, oh, you know, Nobody really to compare myself to because I kind of live alone and I just, you know, work with pe like five people uh, besides me. So there's no, nobody really to compare myself to. And so just no pressure. And I was just comfortable. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, I'm, I'm as good as anyone else and I don't need to be any better. And, <laughs> that you know, just your insecurities and everything just build up and... I was I was spiraling into depression, like slowly, gradually, just becoming like super fucking depressed, and I had no clue until like last week when I watched that video, or you know, when I just started like uh, listening to the crew that were, were like really honestly critical of like <laughs> people, and I yeah I just want to pass that message on. Um, to like harden the fuck up for one and uh yeah i mean harden the fuck up is one part of it but i don't like that whole like mentality like harden the fuck up what if you get harder and harder and eventually you're like a stiff or you're you know you harden the fuck up can imply like you're not getting enough sleep and stuff so i like the term for what it's worth but it's it's more like yeah, just be switched on. I think that's the best way to describe it. So that's why, I, uh, you know, I changed the channel name. It's also because my, you know, some accounting firm fucking stole my civilized citizen name. But it was really, it wasn't an original thing. Switch people on. It's so unoriginal that it actually works, you know. I don't need a, I, I was trying to come up with like a superhero name. But that doesn't fucking matter. I already have my superhero name. I'm Brad Slams Yams. <coughs> I always spit your mucus out. Don't swallow that shit. Just fuck. Um, so yeah, just decided to be a switch on cut. And it's a choice in the moment, like every moment. 
you know, you can decide whether you're gonna just like clock out for the day, not, and uh, you know, you can do that, not do the right thing. Or you can switch yourself on and remember your goal is that you're, you're neglecting, remember, you know? All, there's so many things, like for me at least, I got so many fucking things I gotta do to get, get like more control over my life and like just feel more secure or feel more, not even secure, but like, yeah, ready enough, like prepared for risk taking. That's, yeah, yeah, that's the key, like, I'm gonna up my game so I can really take more risks, um, and do better things. That's what you gotta do, especially if you're young like me. I'm 23. Um, yeah, so I feel really good. I, like, I'm totally stoked about today, uh, about this week, I mean. Like, I had a really fucking good week, and it's because I just did the right thing all week. And, yeah, it, it, mood follows action it is so true like my mood has just it it goes up and down in waves during the day but you know what happens like when something good happens or something encouraging happens or you hear something that somebody says that just uh moves you in a good way like makes you feel good do anything that make, makes you feel good you all of a sudden have more motivation more energy it's an awesome thing so yeah i'll try and do more of that just like make people feel good uh, like I do right now, <laughs> you know, nobody likes an angry vegan, um, they, you know, we get angry for legitimate reasons, but, uh, yeah, yeah, super important to just be happy, um, and happiness comes from doing the right thing, I mean, if, if, if being a happy person means being a switched on person, it means, like being somebody that does the right thing all the time. So yeah, just such a simple concept that I'm like, it's crazy uh, that I'm, I'm just learning it, you know? I'm 23 years old and just getting uh, out of bed and getting on my bicycle, it, it means, it sounds like such a small thing, but it's everything, dude, it's everything. Like you. You, you sit you sit on that fucking seat and you start pumping your legs and you're like okay I'm, I'm gonna keep this this inertia going today and keep this momentum going they call it big mo so every time you decide to clock out and switch off you lose that momentum and it's a scary thing like momentum you go so you end up picking up so much speed it's like it's scary like I, <laughs> like what's my life gonna be like without like all this unnecessary shit and what's my life gonna be like like when I really have to be like balls to the wall fucking pushing like when I have responsibilities and like important shit to do that I'm expected to do and I expect myself to do like I don't want any obligations from others or myself <clears throat> it's a scary thing man but like I understand it, it is scary so yeah, alright. So I'm gonna stop ranting like a crazy person. Give you a little shot of the uh, the river today. It looks nice. And then I'll be off. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go home, just slap this video together real quick, eat some rice, kick back, relax. Drug free, get an early night, you know, watch some YouTube videos and it's all good, it's all it's all learning, you know. Five days a week, fucking working your ass off, and then whatever else. Hey. But, uh, you know, always, always shit to do. Can't even believe it, like, how much shit I gotta do. <laughs> but 15 minutes, dude, getting out 15 minutes earlier for a 12 mile bike ride, and I made it in the same fucking time. Earlier, I'll, I'll get it to work fucking earlier than I do in a car, just by getting up 15 minutes, I'll make it to work like half hour earlier. It's fucking nuts, man. I don't even get it. Just the traffic, like, hitting the brakes. And just bullshit, dude. When you, when you start riding your bike, 
everything fucking changes. It's the most powerful thing you can do. And I just, I feel bad for not doing it sooner. I have no reason why I didn't. There was nothing that I had to figure out. Nothing I had to get in order. There was no material possessions I, I was lacking. But, yeah, here I am. I just made the decision. I just made the fucking decision. It, it's so, it, it's so simple, but it deserves repeating. And it's so just important that it, you gotta keep saying it. You gotta make that fucking decision to be a contributor, man. You know, to be somebody who goes out and fucking, like, trains, like, gets your body fucking fit. Get the fucking exercise so you can contribute and just be a fucking contributor. Like, don't worry about, like, being perfect and, like, that's so wrong. Like, it's so wrong. Perfection fucks up everything. Look at that. Yeah, sorry. Good, good river show. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Uh, this, <laughs> this is the lifestyle you, ch you want, okay? But there is no other choice. Uh, I mean, for happiness. If you want extreme happiness, this is how you do it, man. Fruit and cycling. That is how you get happy. Cause you're, it, because you're doing the right thing. Fruit, roots and cycling, sorry. Roots are included in this program. Fucking A, man. So fucking powerful. Um, but anyway, the perfection, um, trying to like develop yourself into the type of person that's able to ride your bike to work. Trying to develop yourself into the type of person that's able to consume the healthiest fucking diet possible. You, you are not that fucking person until you do it, and then you are that person overnight. And just, I, I guess it's a confidence thing. Like, people uh, just don't have the confidence to tell people. Like, it's a social thing. Like, I, I don't want to tell people, look, I, I, like, my, my actual views on stuff. Because people hear your views and they get all defensive, like, ah, you know, my, view, my views. But they don't even, like, have a formulated view. And so it's just, like, it's this whole, like, argument, debacle. I don't, what's a debacle? It's a fucking debacle. I don't know what it is, but it is one. And, uh, shit, I'm about to get into traffic zone here, so I gotta wrap it up. This is a long, too long anyway. I gotta keep these videos shorter. Uh, like, it, it, the social thing, just, it's hard to be like somebody who's like overweight or something, like I am. You know, especially a week ago, uh, you can you can see the difference. You know, you can definitely see I've lost some weight. Absolutely, um, it's hard to be that type of person and just be like confident in your choices. Like, look, I eat fruits and roots. I eat only whole fucking plants out of the ground. You idiot. You know, I only eat fucking actual food that comes out of the ground. And people just don't understand. They keep trying to offer you fucking shit that doesn't grow out of the fucking ground and it's like you know it's hard like I it, it, the social part is so hard just to to be that person and you don't even want to be that person because because of social disapproval like you don't even want to be that person like even when you're alone you're like I, you know I'd rather be like an everyday fucking schmuck so I can just be comfortable like being a loser you know it's just I you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to explain, but um, there's that, and there was something else, too. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just please, please, like, get switched on. Like, here, you got the fucking, like, the idea now, you know? It's, uh, it, it, it's just, yes. Are you on, or are you off? Like, I remember, I was always just kind of a switched-on person, or so I thought. You know, most people think that they're switched on because of X, Y, Z. Like, I, I remember I was in love with this girl. We, we were in love, man. We had, like, the perfect love, you know? And we were soulmates, like, 
and uh, we were just born to be together. Like me and this girl were fucking best friends in preschool. Come to think of it, you know, probably the, there was probably this oxytocin that got released when we kissed in preschool, dude. No fucking lie. And we ended up um, getting into some other shenanigans, more oxytocin. Boom, all of a sudden we're dating and we're like big head rush, man. Like everything, just the whole universe like blew up. It is a powerful fucking chemical, your first love. And the way it worked out for me just so happened, you know, by like coincidence, really. I mean, there, you know, some people say there's no such thing, but it just was what it was. Like, um, uh, you know, it ended up like being a great learning experience. We both grew from it, but what I'm trying to say is uh, I, I thought I was a switched on person because of this one fucking thing that I was doing. Uh, and you're never safe, you know, like that. Um, I, I thought I was switched on because I, I understand what it's me what it's like to be in love. And most people don't know that. Most people get married and they don't know what it's like to be in love. That's what I thought. Like nobody's ex like so few people in the world have experienced this type of love, which might have been true, but it was also like a drug fucking confused love. Like we're, you know, we're all like on drugs all the time, like smoke weed every day, fucking shit like that and I was just you know I thought that I fucking understood so it's good to like have that affirmation you should always like don't just say like oh I'm switched off like no, I'm, I'm fucking depressed or you know I, don't just be like a sad cunt cause you uh it, you know cause you don't like have that reason to be switched on you know just, I mean, or you don't have that like one thing to fucking brag about like just because I'm ri I ride my bike to work every day drug free like doesn't mean I'm switched on I'm switched on because I fucking choose to in the moment and uh, yeah just remember that man remember that in your daily life I know like this channel's gonna like uh, it might take off it might not get popular I don't know like, it doesn't really fucking matter but it's, it's so important that the message gets out there to people to like make that choice to be like a really fucking positive person every moment. Like you can't just, you can't cheat it, man. You can't fucking turn around and uh, like just shrug it off and be a two-faced person. It doesn't work because you're, you're only lying to yourself. So like be compassionate in your everyday interactions and like be honest with people and like be genuinely helpful say what needs to be said fucking yeah it's it's like to follow your heart you know simple stuff but there's a lot of you know a lot of fucking situations that come up in life where you just yeah you got to take the the calculated make the calculated decision for the better every time like never be like okay i've been good now i'm going to just like do the wrong fucking thing now you know I deserve to like punish myself because I've been rewarding myself with healthy habits now I deserve to fucking you know do something bad for myself that's what kind of thinking is that man that's self-hate that is self-hatred in its purest form so fuck off the drugs fuck off the junk food like sell your car <laughs> Maybe not go that far, but don't fucking drive it every day. God. So, yeah, I live about 12 miles from work. 11 and a half. And this is so easy. Like, so easy. My, Like I said, my legs feel better than they did at the end of the week. Like, I have more energy and I'm just more positive. Like, I think I need less sleep than I thought I did. And it's just because... I've made a decision to be good. Like the bags under my eyes, because I, I haven't drank coffee in a couple weeks. Like the bags under my eyes are beginning to fade away finally. You know, I'm getting leaner. And But the energy thing, that's the biggest thing. That's all we want in life is energy. That is like number one fucking thing. And uh, I can't think of something more important because it's being alive. You, you run out of energy and you're dead. 
So cultivate that natural energy. That is the secret to longevity. Now I'm only 23, so you can't really take my word for it. But think about it. Like the more alive you are, the longer you stay alive. Does that not make sense? I don't know, man. Like makes makes some pretty good sense to me. But regardless, it's your quality of life. It's your quality of life and it's your quantity of life because the more energy you have, just the more life you're able to live. And contributing is all about having fun. Like being a contributor is all about, it, it, it's a positive experience for the people who contribute. People know it feels good to give and you got to give yourself all the right tools so you're able to give. And that's you know, just, I can't think of a more fun, enjoyable thing to do than to be somebody who gives, who contributes. Like at my, the place that I work, there's so many generous people who make donations. It's, it's awesome to watch. It's really awesome because people just feel so good when, when they give things to us. Like they'll give us uh, just a, any old thing. And they'll, like even it, when people bring in like somebody will fucking donate like a box of like old fucking flashlight chargers that will never fit any and, and things like old broken fucking outlets and switch plates and broken fucking toilet paper rings and it just like oh you know I thought you could just like scrape the yeah I can't think of a good example but it's pretty fucking hilarious and people are like you know I was gonna throw this away it wouldn't cost me anything, but I thought I'd just give it to you. It would make me feel good. And uh, sometimes you're just like, yeah, you know, I, just, just because you want to help us out, I'll take this stupid shit from you because it's worth it because it, you will be helping us out. And it'll make the, yeah, this, uh, what, I'm just trying to provide proof that uh, doing the right thing makes you feel the best. It's the most enjoyable fucking thing you can do. Um, this is awesome. Like, I'm so stoked. Tomorrow, I, I really want to go out and train, like, go for a long bike ride. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to sit. I'm going to fucking eat, like, rice and beans fucking all day till my fucking stomach explodes. And, uh, you know, get ahead on some other bullshit in life. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, and I just missed the green light. Uh, yeah, that's my vlog. I might or might not put up a video tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Do the right thing. Stay switched on. Peace, love, plants and uh, funky fucking music.